Hey everybody, Case here. Welcome back to The Simpsons Tapped Out. It's 2019. That is amazing. What's not amazing is that the 2018 Christmas event is over and ended January 2nd on a Wednesday. It's now Friday of this current week and we still don't have an update. So safe bet, I'm going to assume that it's going to be coming next week. I'm now going to use this valuable time that we never get very wisely. And I'm going to try chem farming. Now camp farming, if you don't know what this is, it allows you to level up faster, eventually get to the max level which is 939, and then you can get even more donuts. Remember, obviously if you go up one level, you get one donut, when you hit the max, you get those things that pop up, those boxes, and you can get up to three donuts. But how do you do camp farming? Well, I'm not going to get into the actual specifics of this in terms of like mathematical sort of thing, and I'm going to give you a short four bullet point list in order to make that happen. Number one, cash. You need money to do cam farming, and the easiest way to do that is to put characters on quests. Now, four hours is absolutely perfect because it lines up with the actual cam farming. Number two, this is going to require donuts, not too many, but you have to turn on the XP collider. Well, no, that's not true. You don't have to, but it definitely does make things a lot faster. This is your XP collider here. You can see times five every single time you click something, which is huge. And there is a full day at five donuts. Three days is 10 donuts. A week, 20 donuts. And a 10 day is 25 donuts. It's all times five. It doesn't matter which day you do or how long. It's always going to be times five. Number three is actually placing down the chem farms. Chem stands for Quickie Mart, if you don't know that by now. But the max is going to be 14,400. There is a fourth option as well. There's a fourth step. It does require your bonus percentage. But this is something that, especially when you're leveling up and you're not at the max level yet, I would not worry about it. Now, the way to actually get your bonus XP up faster, first of all, this is where it is. It's in the very, very center there. Total bonus from conformity and decorations for me personally is 440.95. The ways to get this, the easiest way I think would be the Springfield Heights. Every time you expand one of the beach houses or max out one of those buildings and you know how you upgrade them higher and higher, you get a lot of XP for that. I placed them all down over here. Well, most of them anyway. And if you want an idea of how this really works for percentages, we're going to store the valley parking, which is maxed out. And you'll see, this gives me 3%, which is pretty awesome. So mine was at 440, this would be down to 437 now. And when I place that back down, it should be 440 again. Yeah, right there, 440.95. So that is one way. The second way is going to require donut, and it's very, very slow. But if you buy the Mr. Burns mystery box for six donuts, I just have to find it. There it is right there. It'll have a chance of giving you premium items. Some of them give you a bonus. 5% for a premium item is not very high. But for example, you could probably get something in that mystery box like the Channel 6 news van which gives you 2%, which is awesome. Some of the billboards do as well. Radioactive Man, 0.75. And then there's another one as well, Itchy and Scratchy Board, which is 1%. But like I said, that is a very, very slow process. The biggest thing is just to focus on the first three, cash, turn in the XP Collider if you can, and then do the actual cam farming. So this is all of my quickie marts. But with the thing flashing down below, we're just gonna start clearing some of these, or should I say, placing them down. There's one, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that was eight of the quickie marks to level up. Let's just try again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight. It cost me nine quickie marts to level up. I, I think that's okay. I, I don't know because my bonus before I started recording and placing all the Springfield Heights stuff down was only 306 and it was costing me 12 quickie marts to level up. Now that I'm up to 440, it's costing me, I think, nine quickie marts. So that's three less. Remember, 14,400 times three is, I don't know, 50, 60,000 that I'm saving every single time I level up, which is pretty decent, I think. Now let's just double check what it costs to actually sell one. 3,600. Remember, once you get past a certain point, it costs 14,400, and that is essentially the three, possibly four steps for a beginner's guide to camp farming. Again, I don't know all the math behind everything. If you want to know stuff in more detail, there are a ton of posts out there, especially on TSTO Addicts. They break this stuff down really, really well, but I don't know all the stuff behind it. I just know, just don't place too many where you put yourself in a corner. Just start really small, make sure you have some cash, work your way up from there. So if anybody out there found this video helpful, please remember to give this a like and just let everybody know that it is actually a useful video. And of course, I do a lot of Simpsons tapped out videos and all this sort of stuff, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post every single day. I turn on that notification bell as well. It will let you know when my videos do pop up, but if I have at least one video up, it's going to be at least 7 o'clock in the morning. If I have two, usually 7.30 in the morning a.m. Pacific time or 10, 10.30 Eastern time. So thank you everybody so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.